Sarah, welcome to The Daily English Show. November is almost over, which means it'll be the end of the year before you know it. And Christmas is coming, which I kind of forget about living in Japan because it's not such a big holiday here. But yesterday I got a very nice package from family in New Zealand and in it was this beautiful Christmas card. I think it was hand painted by my cousin. So that was exciting and it got me thinking about Christmas. And speaking of the holidays, the Acadia report today is about what people at Acadia University are planning to do on their Christmas break. Up until now we've been using footage that we took when we were visiting the university, but these interviews were all done by students who are studying English at Acadia, and I think they did an excellent job. And we have more of their work that we're going to be using in the Acadia reports coming up, so that's very exciting too. I think doing interviews is a great activity for improving your English and it's great that we get to use the footage too. The video I recommend today is called Crackers. I love this video, I think it's really well done and I thought it was really funny because I've had the exact same problem eating those exact same crackers while using the computer. <laughs> Melissa Berger and I'm from Cape Breton so uh, that's what I plan to do on Christmas break. I plan to go to Cape Breton and uh, have fun with my family and enjoy a family Christmas. Hi, my name is Masaki. Uh, my Christmas plan, uh, I will go back to Japan. Yeah, I want to go back to Japan because uh, here is a little bit boring uh, and uh, I want to go shopping in Japan and uh, want to see my friends. Christmas break, I'll go back to Japan because I want to. <laughs> I want to spend time in Japan. Hi, my name is Claire Reynolds. Um, for Christmas break, I want to go back home to Ottawa. That's where I was born and raised. I haven't seen a family in a while, so I want to do that. Hi, I'm Cody LeBlanc. I work at the Info Desk. And my plan for Christmas break is to head home, spend it with my family. My name is Ahmed. I am from Jordan. Uh, my plan in Christmas, I will be stay in here in Canada with my wife. Hi, I'm Julia and I live in Seminary House and for this Christmas break I'll be going home to Ontario. Uh, I'm Tara and I'm an education student and my plan for Christmas break is to go home and work at the hospital and earn some money to pay off the debt that I have from spending all my money during the strike. So that's what my plan is for Christmas break. Kia ora, this is Stick News. This evening in Tokyo, Japan, Enya planted a tree. Enya is a 47-year-old singer from Ireland. This year she's scheduled to appear on an end-of-year music program in Japan. And according to Japan Today, this evening Enya planted a tree in Roppongi. And that was Stick News for Thursday the 27th of November. Kia ora. Today's word is flounder, to struggle to know what to say or do, or how to continue with something. I thought the advice that Nick gave on Monday was really good. He said that students should ask themselves why they want to learn English. He said, the difference between students I've seen succeed and students I've seen flounder is a clear sense of what they want to do with English. How are you going to celebrate Christmas? That sounds nice. Are you going to put out decorations? Are you going to send Christmas cards? What's the design? Hmm, I haven't decided yet. Probably eat some delicious food and drink some delicious wine. Hmm, yeah. Hmm, maybe. I still have those silver trees, so I might hang them up again. Hmm, I might actually this year. I haven't seen Christmas cards in ages, but I have an idea for a design. Now that would be telling. Grow or develop in a healthy or vigorous way. A. Flounder. B. Flourish. C. Slump. D. Stagger. E. Stagnate. 
flourish, fail or decline substantially or over a prolonged period, slump, to stop developing or making progress, stagnate, to struggle to know what to say or do or how to continue with something, flounder, walk or move unsteadily as if about to fall, Stagger. And that was The Daily English Show. See you tomorrow. Bye.